Let's take a look at how TCP and UDP work. Both are data transmission protocols, but they operate in very different ways. Let's start with TCP or Transmission Control Protocol. Imagine two entities, the sender and the receiver. In TCP, both sides must establish a connection before any data can be transferred. This process is called the three-way handshake. First, the sender sends a SYN request, a message saying, Hey, I'm ready to synchronize. The receiver replies with an acknowledgement that it received the request and also sends its own SYN. Finally, the sender acknowledges that message, completing the handshake. Once this three-step exchange is complete, a reliable connection is established between the two devices. Next, when the sender is ready to transmit data, it breaks the data into smaller chunks called packets. Each packet gets a header added to it. In our animation, the yellow part represents the actual data, while the red part is the header. This header contains information like source and destination ports, a sequence number, and a checksum for error detection. The packets are then sent one by one to the receiver. After receiving each packet, the receiver sends back an acknowledgement. Once the sender receives this acknowledgement, it clears that packet from its memory buffer. If a packet gets lost during transmission, the receiver won't send an acknowledgement. The sender waits for a specific amount of time and if no acknowledgement arrives, it automatically resends the missing packet. Thanks to this system, no data is lost. And once all the packets are received, the TCP protocol ensures that they are arranged in correct order and any errors are corrected before delivering the final data to the application. Once the data transmission is complete, the connection needs to be properly closed. To do this, the sender initiates the termination by sending a FIN request, which signals that it has finished sending data. The receiver responds with an acknowledgement and sends its own FIN request to indicate that it's also ready to close the connection. Finally, the sender acknowledges this second FIN and the connection is officially terminated. Now, UDP or User Datagram Protocol works quite differently. Just like TCP, it splits the data into packets and adds header to each one. But this header is much smaller, containing only the essential information. UDP does not establish any connection before sending data. It simply fires the packet off directly to the destination. No handshake, no acknowledgements. It does not check if the data is received or lost. There is no retransmission. Why? Because UDP prioritizes speed over reliability. It's perfect for situations where speed matters more than accuracy, like live video streaming, online gaming, or voice calls. Here is the comparison between TCP and UDP side by side. You can pause and check out.